Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising. It's a weekly reading for the week of August 19th to the 25th. Your cards this week, Aries, energies leaving, completing or transitioning. You have the Knight of Swords. Focus energies this week, you have the Seven of Pentacles clarified with the amazing Transformation card. And we have the Ten of Pentacles coming in towards the end of the week. Okay, Aries, you guys have been going through a really big chapter um, this winter. Um, yeah, I can relate to it. I'm in Aries as well. We've had, you know, tower after tower after tower that I can see across my readings and the other readers that I follow as well. You know, it really has been a, a period of chaos and really tearing down those old, you know, systems, situations and things that are holding us back, you know, things that are not aligned with our frequency because I think a lot of us, not just us Aries, but this is a, such a pivotal time for evolution and transformation, literally. So I'm really pleased to see in our recent past here, Aries, so we've got the Knight of Swords, but that also came out with the Ace of Wands. So I really feel that um, many of us, you know, moving out of a period of, you know, um, the Tower moment, you know, clearing the rubble, clearing the rubble. And once the dust is settled and we've cleared the rubble, look what's happening now. I think a lot of us are, you know, in this um, position now where we're just charging forth really really quickly into an inspired new beginning you know I think for a lot of us it's about um, growth it's about transformation it's about spiritual evolution it's about rebirth um, yeah it's, it's really um, a, a strong period of growth and I feel like it's just all on it's like game on right now for you guys yeah, so, you know, Ace of Wands, it's all about that becoming re-inspired, you know, feeling ready for action, ready for, to fight, you know, to fight the good battles of life, not, not in a war sense here, but um, you're really ready for another growth spurt. And I feel like the things that you are doing now and the things that you've let go of and what you're going through is going to lead to such a fulfilling new chapter for you. You know, Ace of Wands here, yes, it comes in on the hand of the divine. I really feel like the universe has been sitting right behind that tower going, come on, come on, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. And as soon as it, was, it had fallen, it was like, there's your wand. This is your reward for going through those dark times. You know, the universe wanted this for you the whole time, but it couldn't because the space wasn't there. Now the space is there for Aries and, you know, the universe doesn't have time to waste. It's saying this is supposed to be your direction all along. So now it's um, making up for lost time here. It's bringing in that new inspiration and that new energy for you to bring into a strong new beginning. You know, with the Aces being the first card in each suit of the Tarot deck, um, we do need to take inspired action to actually bring them into the tangible realm. I don't think that you will have any problems with that Aries because you are very action oriented, you're a leader, you're a doer and um, yeah I really feel like this is quite underway for you. So focus energies this week here Aries, we've got the beautiful transformation card which is equivalent to the death card in the rider deck and we've got a couple of other cards here going on um, before I think that we're going to really get to that transformation right. So. We've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, you know, is really about the fact that you've planted the seeds, you've done the hard yards, and now, you know, you're really sort of standing back and waiting for them to bring in the rewards. You know what, I kind of feel that through what you've been through and the tower moments and everything like that, I think that that is you planting the seeds. I think you've taken the action that you needed to and now, you know, what you're really sort of waiting for is for the transformation to happen. Um, you know, that's, you know, seven, you've got double seven here, which is the number of attainment and understanding. So I really feel that, um, you know, this transformation that's about to come forth for you uh, really is going to bring you the attainment that I strongly see coming in later on. Now, the seven of wands, yeah, like it kind of shows me that yeah the fight hasn't sort of been easy you might still be battling with some things um, this week as the transformation takes place it can be you know battling to hold on to the past that kind of thing um, seven of wands is also about the warrior spirit or well, Aries you are the warrior you know ruled by Mars and all of that so I really feel like you are once again you know you're taking that wand of inspiration of new beginning and you're really you you're using it you're really using it to take action in your life 
to you know make sure that you can release the past that's not serving you um, you know you're actually carving out that new direction for yourself so yeah I really feel like the groundwork is all in place for the transformation to happen this week Aries so transformation on the death card here so what this talks about is that it's you know it's an inevitable part of life this life and death cycle and now that you've you know probably had some situations that have you know come to an end by the hand of the divine with tower moments um, which I believe that most of you have, have experienced you know that space is now there to bring about the transformation it's kind of like you know you can now go through the personal transformation of that you can let the parts of yourself that were just you know clinging on to those situations and having to stay in a state of fight or battle you know you now can let those go so you can bring about a sense of peace and harmony in your life and in the new space and I think that's what transformation is going to bring um, for you it's, uh, you know letting those parts of yourself and the fragments of those situations that are left come to pass you know lay them to rest and you know then you can actually head towards the light and head in a new direction and a much brighter future for yourself Aries um, you know with transformation the reminder is to not stay in the past and hold on to the past because you know that was, wasn't serving you anymore and it really is time to charge forth into this new direction now coming in towards the end of the week, and this is why I strongly think you should follow that light, look at this combo. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, you know, the, the highest amount of um, attainment here. Going from a Seven of Pentacles to a Ten of Pentacles, which is all the abundance, all the wealth, the home, the partner, the pets, the, you know, all of it. This is what's on offer um, you know, if you can make this transformation. And, you know, it may not be in a literal material sense. It might be the way you're going to feel inside, that sense of um, liberation, feeling abundant on the inside because you've made the best decision for you, abundant in growth, abundant in realisation. You know, we also have the Four of Wands here, which is another card of, you know, light, happy, celebratory energy. So I really feel like you're going to feel like this is a reason to celebrate. I think coming into the next season, Aries, you are, you're celebrating life. You're celebrating letting go of darkness, of heaviness, of things that don't serve you. And, um, you know, really stepping forth into a period of life where you can focus on joy, happiness and harmony. Something that a lot of you may have been lacking, I think, um, you know, longer than a few months, let's just say. Now this card is very meaningful for me. Um, I'm an Aries that just sees 11, 11 all the time, have, have been for well over a decade now. It's the card of synchronicity as well. So what it's saying is that if you can let go and resolve the past and create the space, that the universe then has the opportunity to bring in um, you know, synchronistic opportunities for you to grab hold of. And if you do decide to um, tune yourself to them, to to be aware, to be mindful, to see those uh, opportunities as they come in. They have the potential to bring you real established abundance and happiness in the long term. I'm excited. I love this reading. I think it's um, all positive Aries. I'm so glad to see no Devil cards, no Tower cards, <laughs> no Ten of Wands or no Ten of Swords. This is the shift. The shift is upon you. Allow yourself to transform follow that light and evolve. Okay Aries, I'm going to leave it there for you. It's a beautiful message. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind it's a general reading. It won't necessarily resonate for every single one of you Aries and I'll be back here next week for another reading with you.